Right, this is connecting to the my MySQL Bugzilla database. Uh, I've talked about it various times. Uh, you can see here, this is the query builder from Navicat. And then you can bring in different tables and build yourself your query by the links in the table. So here we've got, uh, I'm looking for all the bugs and bug statuses. So it's just looking at the, the table contents. So you can bring that up. Then um, you just drag over the severity. If you link them together using their keys, so the ID is the key. I think that's severity key. Once I've got it looking nice, oh, try again. You can see that's linked, and you can see it's building the query below. So you just select the things you want to see. So that's value as the item. So that'll give us a list of all the bugs, the bug IDs, and their values. If you run it. There you go. Again, you can see the query there, and there's results at the bottom. So that's building a fairly complex database with you know, um, query. Oh, and now you see one of the things I don't like about Navicat is it does what Excel does if you go down the bottom. <laughs> it stretches out. You can see me wrestle with it for about half an hour until I remember what to do with it. Just bring it back up into the screen. I'm usually doing this on a, on a bigger screen. So again, now I'm going and saying where the product name is. So product is is. Anything that you, uh, you know, for us it's project rather than product. But it's a generic Bugzilla thing. So you can see it is one of our own um, internal things. And you can see there's the issues. Uh, we use, bug is probably the wrong word, we use issue tracking. Um, so these are issues, things that, so it could be just a comment. Um, you can see there's closed and confirmed and different statuses. And you can see there me highlighting the query and then pasting it into the um, oh, but that's a bit ugly and stretched out so I'm going to go and back and make that pretty just because look is important it's got a nice beautify so that's much nicer if you paste that in like that Now I like using this uh, format into string function because it saves, rather than building the SQL, it saves the um, look of it so you can read it. And all you do is you replace your variables with a percentage s. And uh, away you go. Oink. So that's one percentage s, so it's one expecting one input, which is now the variable. And there we have it. We can put any SQL statement in here. As you can see by my little sign. So, I can't remember what I demonstrate now. That's the limit. So if you want to limit the number of returned items, so here I'm going to limit it to I can't remember if that's 20 or not, I can't see. Uh, oh, 10. So you'll just see 10 of them. But of course I want to add it as a new variable, because you might want to change that. So just add a new variable, percentage S. You can see it's broken out. Just put in the new. quite big into labeling constants. I mean, these shouldn't be constants really, they're probably input variables, but 
if there was a label, uh, a constant, I'd be labeling it. So I'm just changing it. You can see I've just limited it to two inputs. So working with Navicat and the, uh, um, the database stuff, it's, it's just easy. Um, you can see here, you don't actually have to do a query. Everything is, is an SQL query in Navicat. So if you view a table, you can see along the bottom, it will um, select. You can see the, the SQL, and you can always cut and paste that. But also you can insert. So if you add a new status here, Uh, I've given up on these bugs, so we'll add a new status saying I've given up trying to fix it. And if you press the tick, you see the insert statement come down the bottom. And of course, all you then do is cut and paste that. And again, change your variables to um, percentage s. That's your inserts done. I mean, nice thing is that it, it breaks it as well if you haven't defined enough inputs. So there's a little bit of extra checking in there for you. Well, my view does. So you just put in the, the name as a label because I'm me being uptight about my labelling. So for us these queries will go into a separate component rather than all be done like this. This is just for demonstration really. Because this is internal to your own software, you shouldn't you don't shouldn't have to worry about SQL injection and other security issues. Um, this is being built into your own program. So you can see I'm just adding a yeah a another. Um, so now I've very quickly added an insert statement. Oh, that's a mistake. So now we'll just delete it and you can see again we've got our query there our SQL statement rather than query so we just cut and paste that and round and round we go so it's nice, it's a nice tool um, I, I use, it saves me a lot of time, I do a lot of queries but it saves me a lot of time and it's pretty much the same thing for everything you do if you use this process Get rid of my given up. You can see, refresh it. And there we are, back to where we started from. So, all good.